moving on along, we want to take the de uh, take the derivative with respect to x of this function. Part of it's easy, but the middle part is not. So let's look at it. Let's do the easy part. The derivative of two of x squared would be two x. Let's skip this part for a moment. And the derivative of y squared would be two y dy dx. And the derivative of 10 would be zero since it's a constant. That five xy is tricky. Now when you think of the 5xy, think of it as two different functions. One function is 5x and one function is y. So in order to work this one, we're going to need to use the product rule. So function 1 is 5x and function 2 is y and that's how we're going to break it apart. So d1 would be 5. It doesn't need any extra dy dx is in there because it's just an x. And the derivative of 2, which would be the derivative of the y function, would be a 1 dy dx. So when we move over here back to the problem, we're going to say that's 1 d2 plus 2 d1. 1 d2 plus 2 d1. So we get 2x plus 5x dy dx plus 5y plus 2y dy dx equals 0. Let's keep our dy dx's on this side and move everything else over. So 5x dy dx plus 2y dy dx equals a negative 2x minus 5y when these move over. Now remember your goal here is to get the dy dx by itself. So we're going to take a dy dx out of this part and take a dy dx out of this part To get dy dx by itself, we can divide by that term, expression rather, and dy dx would equal negative 2x minus 5y over 5x plus 2y. Now you would think that those would simplify, but they don't because you have a negative 2x and then you have of 5x on the bottom. They're not the same. Be careful, you will have to use the product rule a good bit. Now that one was kind of tough. Let's try another one. Hey, you'll notice I made a little note on this one. Be very careful with that negative. That, that is going to cause us a little trouble. So let's take the derivative. Let's get the easy part out of the way. The derivative of 5x squared would be 10x Let's skip the bad part. The derivative of two, y squared would be 2y dy dx. And the derivative of 18, of course, is 0. Now, you have to decide what to do with that negative. Do you want to just bring the negative down and then subtract the whole derivative? Or do you want to go ahead and break it up? Well, that's your call. I'm going to go to the side and take the whole term right here. I'm going to break it up into pieces. Negative 2x squared will be my first function and y would be my second function. Now there are other ways to do it. Be super, super, super careful. As soon as I put that negative with this 2, whatever I get in blue is going to go directly in. I've handled the 2. I'm sorry, I've handled the negative by going ahead and dealing with it inside the derivative. So my first function is actually a negative 2x squared, and my second function is y. So d1 would be negative 4x, and d2 would be 1 dy dx. So going back to the actual problem, you're going to say function 1, d2, plus function 2, d1. 
And that's how I chose to handle my negative. So simplifying it, this is what I would get. Keep the dy dx's on this side, move everything else over. So the 10x is going to become negative and the 4xy is going to become positive. Factor out a dy dx. and divide. So dy dx looks like this. But what I notice is they have common factors. So it's going to simplify a little uh, more completely. Across the top, I notice they both have an x and they both have a 2. So I can take a 2x out of this piece. Across the bottom, I see they both have a 2. So I can take a 2 out. The only thing that crosses out or cancels is the 2. So my final answer would be x times negative 5 plus 2y over negative x squared plus y.